What's going on everybody? This is Pep Spartan here and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. Uh, in the last episode we did a lot of uh, encounters. So our current team is going to be looking like we got Moto Moto. Uh, Sparkles are now uh, Fire Rotom. Uh, legit. Uh, Bird 2. All of our staples. And then we added on Zed and Joseph for our type coverage. Zed so that way we can hit those ghost types and Joseph so that way we have a way to counteract the water because Sparkles doesn't know that many good electric moves just yet. So we have all of our team members and we are going to actually be proceeding today. All right, we're going to go right up here, I think. Wait, no, we got to go to Kepler Town. Because right now we are not in Kepler Town, are we? No, we are not. So, uh, it is Monday, my dudes. How was everyone's weekend? I hope you all had a productive weekend. I hope you all had a lot of fun. It is now some. It is summer. So, I, assu I assume you guys went out, did like, went to enjoy some pools, stuff like that. Uh, I spent mine working. So, my summer was always, my weekends are always productive. Doesn't matter because I always work. There's the Pika Taxi. That's who I was looking for this whole time. Get in there. Take my money and get me to Kepler City. Because uh, I don't feel like going through Maelstrom 9 again. That was a big pain in the butt. Now, if you remember from a few episodes ago, there was two trainers that were blocking this exit. Blocking this way right here. And now we... Could we have got... Okay, so we couldn't get on those. I was like, could we have gone around them the whole time? Let's see. I used to work at Anastasia's gym operating the machinery and whatnot. She's very, um, passionate. Uh, she enjoys what she does very much. She can be a bit overbearing at times, but hey, nobody's perfect. I've been hearing about these cold ears. Uh, I hear one of them has never before seen Mega Evolution. Wonderful! I've never before seen Mega. We've already seen a few of those, actually. Alright, Route 11. Oh, here's our encounter. It is... Okay, I'm okay with this. A Sceptile is awesome. But we are quad weak to you, my man. Uh, so I am switching out right off the bat. Go in, Sparkles. False swipe. Okay, that was even a crit. Okay, we are golden. Alright, uh, let's go Electro Ball, because this shouldn't do that much. Yeah, like I said, it didn't do it didn't do anything. All right, overheat will kill. How much will Hex do? Okay, I feel like he can live. Maybe one more Hex. I'm actually gonna Electro Ball weaken it down just a bit because all it's doing is false swiping. And this is where. Okay, uh, right now we're gonna heal. Uh, ooh, should I heal or should I? You know what? Get in the Ultra Ball. Come on, Sceptile, get in the Ultra Ball. Uh, let's see, where is our list of nicknames? There we go. We got the Sceptile. Awesome. There we go. Sceptile is really awesome, too. I love using Sceptile. Uh, yes, we will give a nickname to this Sceptile. It is going to be named after my buddy, Zikrom. Yep, just, just like that. Perfect. And he was transferred to the PC. Great. What else could we have gotten? That's my question. What else could we have gotten? We could have got a Yamega. Okay. Not the best, but not horrible. What else? Oh, a milk tank. That would have been great. I'm gonna I'm gonna murk you just for the XP. Like, literally, this is just for the XP. And we got a trainer. Okay. Ooh, what could you have? A Dendene. Okay. You are gonna enjoy this. Catch this earthquake. Goodbye, Dendene.
Uh, Pachirisu, okay, we're gonna stay in. Moto Moto has got this on point here. Ow! Like, legit, ow, no thank you. Holy crap. Okay, we're gonna go back and heal. We are definitely going back, in, back and healing. Uh, off camera, I am going to level up um, Joseph, our Munchlax, just because I want to see him evolve. So we are definitely going to be doing that off camera. Um, I'm going to be using the same tech. I went the wrong way. All right. I'm going to be using the same tech that I used to heal up all of our, uh, level up all of our bonds. All right. Uh, so we're going to be diving. Sweet. I always love the dive in this. This is freaking awesome. We could actually got our encounter down here too. I wonder what we could have got down here. What could we have gone down here? Show me some power. Show me some power. Hello? Show me some power. Anything? Nothing? Where do we go up? Oh, right here. Huh. Hello? I'll save you for another time. And I'll walk around here, and there we go. Alright, me to Nazca Town. Why are you trying to find a Dawn fan? That was weird. Did you guys see a little glitch on the screen? Oh, I found a Safari Zone. Oh, buddy, it's the actual Safari Zone. I market my milk for the weary travelers. Can I help you? Oh, heck yeah. Moo Moo Milk. Yeah, I'll take five. Moo Moo Milk's actually really helpful in this game. And we are literally broke as a joke over here. Nazca's where we grow food, okay. Alright, that's cool. Now, where is the Safari Zone? Hey, officer, where is the Safari Zone? Hey, buddy, do you know where the... Stop walking away from me. On one hand, I'm so glad we have people like the Ogre to protect us, but on the other, well, he's so good at his job, we don't need a police force. I've been laid off. Oh, well, that sucks. There it is again. Huh. Why do you have the three starters? Can I choose a starter here? I lost an item of mine in the desert of the Safari Zone, near one of the rocks. If you can find it for me, I'll honor, I'd be honored to give you a gift in return. Okay, so we are going to the Safari Zone then. Hey, Charmander, get out of my way. Where is the Safari Zone? Hello, Safari Zone. What? What the heck just happened? Are you alright? Don't panic, I'm only here to talk. You've become something of a legend back in the Cult of Darkrai. Persephone placed a huge bounty on your head. Now everyone's trying to find you. I'm not interested in that at all. Remember when you escaped the base when Darkrai was summoned? I was the cultist that stood in the circle. Turns out Darkrai doesn't want ritual sacrifices and evil done in its name. Most legendaries don't. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Rayquaza rescued East. Somehow. Persephone and Darkrai's goals are completely different. She doesn't want world world domination or control. She just wants revenge. And you need to stop her from getting it. Soon she'll find a way to control it. If you let her if you let her, another legendary will be enslaved. Not only that, but that green-haired girl uh, have your own reason. But you and that green-haired girl have your own reason for saving it. It may have a secret. Uh, the, it may have the secret to curing Audrey's son. I apologize for taking your time. Believe it or not, you and Darkrai might share a common goal. Have a nice day. The heck just happened? Um, so, okay, where's the safari? Or is this a safari zone? Yep, okay. Sure. All right, so. All right, here we go, Safari Zone.
Alright, he said in the desert. Okay. Let's see if we can find the desert. Aha! Found the desert. Near a rock. Nope. 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 Come on. Can we find the secret item? I'm literally just checking all the rocks now. This is what it's come to. I mean, I have a Safari Zone encounter I can do. But right now, I'm more interested in what my gift might be. It could be one of the starters. And if it is, I'm taking Charmander. Okay, here's our Safari Zone encounter. It is... Okay! I am perfectly fine with this. Uh... Shoot. Uh, we'll throw a rock. Okay. Because it is the Safari Zone, and it is a really high chance for it to flee, I'm gonna give it two encounters. So, just because it does have a really high flea rate, which sucks. I've checked every rock in the safari zone. Where the heck is it? Alright, here's our second encounter. Okay, we got another chance at the Flygon. This one's a higher level. Please, get in the ball. One, two, three. Don't run. Please do not run. Okay. I should have thrown bait. I really should have. Do not run. Please do not run. Okay. Bait. Ball. I'm not going to throw a rock at you. Just please come on our team. Come on. Do not run. You're eating. Here's some more bait. Take all the bait, Flygon. Just come with me. Come on, Flygon. Come on, buddy. Call back to uh, me and my friends when we try and catch Pokemon. We got it! Woo! Okay. So, we have a Flygon. Oh my gosh. That's actually freaking completely awesome. I love Flygon. Uh, we will nickname the Flygon later, uh, cause I definitely want to name it after a powerful, powerful member. If I could just find this damn... It, he did say the desert, right? Did I check that rock? I did check that rock, okay. Maybe there's another desert? Nope, here's a water area. Is there a desert? Damn it. I'm probably going to have to look up where it is. Honestly, I might just do that. But we do have a Flygon. Um, I am going to count it because the Flygon, the first Flygon ran. And even though it is the first encounter in each area, with uh, Safari Zone having such a high flea rate, I'm going to keep it as two. Like, because I feel like that is kind of fair. Not many people know this, but Helio City was built over a military bunker back during the Kanto Toran War. Huh! The base was reconfigured and became the black market. Interesting. That's kind of cool, actually. And I see a dusk ball. And a bunch of berries that I could pick. Or ap apricorns. I can't pick them? I guess I cannot pick them. Okay. Alright, where do we go from here, though? I see a cave, but I want to... Uh, oh, there's the stairs for the cave. Okay. To the cave! We will get our encounter in the cave now. Let's see, what is going to be... Does this cave even have a name? Nazca Town... I don't know if this would be our Nazca Town encounter. 
because it does not have a... Okay, so that, that's the way to the Merc Forest, and I do see a nurse, so we can use this to heal up. Yep, okay. Cool. What are you? Are you a mossy stone? I wonder if we can get an encounter. Okay, so I'm going to count this as our Nazca Town encounter, and it's a Soul Rock. I'm actually okay with this. Funny enough, Soul Rock's actually pretty decent. Um, Pokemon, we will go into... We're going to Sparkles, because at least... It... And it exploded. It exploded. It completely exploded. That is not good. Wonderful. That's not what I wanted. Great. There goes our encounter. That's a big waste. Damn it, I forgot Soul Rock could have explosion. Why, oh, why did it go boom? Alright. Well, you met me. I'm famous somewhat. I lost the Pokemon Battle to my friend because of some Tauros crap luck. I missed Focus Boss when it encountered. Uh. I've lost. Wow! That's a lot of battles that you've lost just because of luck. But that's RNG for you. I often hear rumbling noises coming from the Safari Zone. I wouldn't be surprised if a legendary could be there. Oh, wonderful. Please tell me I, I use my... You know what? I... Elemental Hyper Beams, what? Oh, it's the three. Holy crap. Okay. We have a Sceptile. We can learn Frenzy Plant. That's actually boss. I'm gonna go grab that real quick. You should definitely check out our Safari Zone or use our farms. Our town may be small, but it has its purpose. Yeah, it does. We got our flag on there. Mommy says Monday. Do you think I could? Sure. Yeah, you could be a trainer. My daughter's super outgoing. I could not ask for a better kid. That's fine. Cool. Awesome. Good for your daughter. Alright. Um, now my only question is, where the heck do I go? Like, I know this is... Ha okay, we got one hyper potion. My dolphin helps to help guard the plants from pesky Pokemon. Pokemon like Yamega and Bunnelby are always trying to munch on our hard work. I wonder why. Why is there just this random bench? It has to serve some sort of purpose. Alright. Is there anything else that we could do in this town other than going to the Merc Forest? Is that a dive spot? Question mark? It is! What in the heck? Where does this go? Where am I? Okay, so I still must be in Nazca Town. Because there's a Luna Town. Alright, so we're just gonna run. Yeah, we were in Nazca Town. Okay. Now, what is up here? What? A Delta Parniard. Okay. I don't know what this route is. I don't know what it's called, but I'm catching this thing. Uh, it's only level 40. I need to switch to something a bit weaker. Um, actually, I physically can't. Alright, uh... Damn. Let's just throw a great ball and hope it sticks. If you want to be named after this Delta Pony art, let me know in the comment section below. If we catch it. That is. Okay, it knows Blaze Kick. Why does it knows Blaze Kick? 
It's gonna weaken itself, and I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna keep using Great Balls. Power Up Punch. Oh. Okay. Uh, throw a Pokeball at it. I hope it sticks. Come on. Oh, almost. Okay. Power Up Punch. That's fine. Keep using Power Up Punch. You're just gonna end up hurting yourself. Come on. Stay in the damn ball. One, two. Damn! Another Blaze Kick and you missed. You whiffed! You whiffed it! Whiff it good. Two, three. Got it! There we go. We've got some power on the team now. We got a Delta Pontiard. That is fighting, flying and fighting. Okay. A Delta species discovered by Echo the Third and Zero Breaker. It flies through the air and strikes its prey. Interesting. I like it. Uh, no nickname just yet. But I gotta figure out what this thing is. Nazca Town Power Farm. Okay. Power Farm. And that was the Pontiard. I knew it had a name. I knew it was a route. It's a completely different area. Alright, everybody. Well, this is where we're going to leave this episode of Pokemon Insurgents. With that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smack that like button down below. Comment and subscribe for more amazing content such as this. And until next time, this has been your Spiteful Spartan, signing out. Stay frosty, everyone. Peace!